Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shy, but you can call me Shadowcat as the channel name suggests. And today we're watching Iron Man 3. Hello. So I woke up this morning just so excited to get into this movie today. I know, I know I have kept you guys waiting. I swear it was not my intention. It was not my intention at all, but I just kept watching movies back to back that had sequels and then I would get into the movies and so I would want to watch the sequels and suddenly you haven't watched a Marvel film in six weeks. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. Blame John Wick. Blame the Terminator. Blame Big Fish. Okay. And actually blame yourselves because you guys recommended those great movies to me so it's all your fault. <laughs> So we left off with the Avengers, which was the first movie in the franchise to have all of the main characters in one place. And that was a lot of fun. So I'm hoping, I don't know if we're going to go straight back to just having Tony Stark in this movie or if it's going to be a bit of a mishmash. I kind of hope that we see some of our other favorite characters in this one as well. But honestly, like if we don't, it's not that big of a deal. I understand that this is an Iron Man movie, not an Avengers movie. So... So yeah, I don't think that I have too many expectations for this movie. If I'm being completely honest, um, in phase one, the Iron Man movies were probably my least favorite. Not that they were bad or anything like that. I just preferred Thor. I preferred Captain America. But at the same time, since the beginning, I've always found Tony Stark to be a really fun, charismatic character to follow. Even if I don't always like him, even if sometimes he gets on my nerves, he's still really fun and Robert Downey Jr. is really great at carrying a movie. So I'm sure that this will at the very least still be a, a pretty good movie. So where we left off in the last one, everyone was getting a sweet, sweet taste of shawarma. So, you know, we left them in a pretty good place and I'm curious to see where we pick up. I'm just so excited to continue watching this with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into Iron Man 3. Let's track this from the beginning. Yo, listen up. Here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. Inside and outside. <laughs> 1999. Okay. <laughs> hour till the ball drops did anybody else think that the lyrics were um blue abba di abba die if i was green i would die if i was green i would die your heart doctor she's going to need a cardiologist that's right <laughs> he's so inappropriate <laughs> aldrich killian uh, I'm a big fan of you. Oh, he needs me. Well, of course. So he's the villain, he's isn't he? He's my organization's been you. tracking your right. research since year two of MIT. Yeah, this is a, a villain origin story if I've ever seen one. Uh, she'll take both. <laughs> one to throw away and one to not call. Aw, Tony. Idea mechanics or aim Don't gotta be rude. Sure. Do you get it? I see that because it's on your t-shirt. I'm titillated by the notion of working with you. Yeah? Yeah, well, yeah. these clowns. We'll see you up on the roof in five minutes. I'm just gonna try to get my beak wet real quick. You know okay. what I'm talking about? I'll see you up there. Damn betcha. If I'm right, we can access the area of the brain that governs repair wow. and chemically recode it. That's incredible. Essentially, you're hacking into the genetic operating, operating system, system of the exactly. living organism. So, why am I telling you this? Because I had just created demons. Mm. And I didn't even know it. I mean, you were being a fing asshole. You can't just like be an asshole to everyone and expect no repercussions ever. I'm different now. <laughs> I'm, well, 47. you know who I am. Ow. Sir, please, may I request just a few hours to calibrate nope. for you? Ah. <laughs> as much as I talk shit about Tony Stark, I really do enjoy his character. As I was mentioning earlier, actually, I don't know if I cut it out of the intro, but... I just find him very charismatic and very fun to follow, and Robert Downey Jr. is just so good at portraying him. You like, can't keep your eyes off of him, even though you're like, oh, you're so annoying sometimes. <laughs> like, he's just a good character, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Some people call me a terrorist. I consider myself a teacher. A miracle. Ready for another lesson? You know who I am. You don't know where I am. And you'll never see me coming. Now that we seem to be back, let's. Oh my god. That is actually terrifying. So, what's really going on? Okay, I didn't know that we were going to see his friend again. Seriously. So, I'm, I'm happy to see him. So, last time you got a good night's sleep, Einstein slept three hours a year. <laughs> did he, you, tell me. I'm did he tell you that him. himself? You're gonna come at me like no, that? No, look, I'm not trying to be a dick. Tell me. How did you get off the wormhole? Wait a minute, Tony. Tony. What is happening? I'm sorry. My diagnosis is that you've experienced a severe anxiety attack. Oh, did he develop anxiety after the events in the Avengers? I mean. He was almost taken out by a black hole. However, I do appreciate it. Since you've taken the post, you don't have to thank we've me. had a rise in staff complaints of 300%. Oh, thank you. Lord. It's not a compliment. <laughs> it's not a compliment. It is a compliment. Clearly, <laughs> somebody's trying to hide something. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. I used to work with him, and he used to ask me out all the time, so it's a little awkward. I don't like the sound of that. It's gonna be the guy. Pepper. It's very nice to see you, Killian. He's a villain. <gasps> what is that? It's the primary somatosensory cortex. It's the brain's pain center. But this is what I wanted to show you. Okay, he's being a bit handsy. This is essentially an empty slot, and what this tells us is that our mind. Our entire DNA, in fact, is destined to be upgraded. I'm sure I'll see you again, Pepper. Bad vibes. Just bad vibes radiating off of that man. Yes, I just, um, God, I forgot my other things, so. She seems a bit flustered. Don't tell me that he charmed her. There is nothing charming about this man. What? <laughs> Why does it have a chest? Tony. He was just- y You mean you? Well, yeah, I just mean we were just, just hosting you. Mm. <sighs> Well, I finished up a little work. Uh-huh. And yes, I had a quick bite. I didn't know if you were coming home or you were having drinks with Aldrich Killian. I wonder if she is feeling undervalued right now. Hey, yeah. I admit it. My fault. Sorry. I'm a piping hot mess. <sighs> is he going to open up to her about his anxiety? Because he should. But I fear that his ego will get in the way. You experience things. And then they're over and you still can't explain them. Mm. The only reason I haven't cracked up is probably because you moved in. Mm. Which is great. I love so you. he I'm is lucky. actually being honest. But honey. That's good. I can't sleep. Yeah, I mean, even the strongest of people would struggle to get over this event. Like, oh. what the hell? Down. Don't say I never did nothing for you. Thank you. Who is this man? Happy's on it. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, very strategic. What are you doing? 
doing, buddy? You out by yourself, a little date night? Oh, oh my God, what the? F What the hell? True story about fortune cookies. They look Chinese. They sound Chinese. But they're not. But they're actually an American, American invention. Yeah. Which is why they're hollow, full of lies, and leave a bad taste in the mouth. And don't worry, the big one is coming. Your graduation. <sighs> this threat is actually terrifying. Like they're doing a really good job at just making you feel that, you know? It just feels really threatening. Here's a little holiday greeting I've been wanting to send to the Mandarin. My name is Tony Stark and I'm not afraid of you. So I've decided that you just died, pal. I'm gonna come get the body. There's no politics here, it's just good old fashioned revenge. There's no Pentagon. I wonder if he's just trying to get back to his old self, like his old fearless self by throwing himself straight into it. But he needs to deal with his mental stuff before he even tries to deal with this enemy. He is not in a good place. And honestly, understandably so, Especially after the events in New York, you would feel like the world's ills are on your shoulders. And now you have a more robust knowledge of, of, of all of the possibilities, all of the things that could happen. It's not just, it's not just the petty sh on earth that we're doing. There are gods, there are, you know, it just goes so deep. And so I can understand totally why he would be suffering from anxiety now. You don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Don't take it personally. I don't remember what I had for breakfast. Gluten-free waffles, sir. That's right. <laughs> okay, look, I need to be alone with you. Is somebody there? Yeah, it's my hand. That funny with Old the boobs? Old pal. I used oh, no, to no, know. Those are, those are paws. Please don't tell me this is Oh, my God. I was like, why does it have boobs? <laughs> They're paws. Oh, my God. That's so funny. My is, talent is that normal? Sadly, yes. that's just normal. That's oh. very normal. It's a big talent. bunny. Relax about it. Oh, no. I got this for you. I Do we need to worry about that? Yeah, probably. Why did that happen? Did he will it to go to Miss Potts instead of him to protect her? I got you. I got you first. Aww. Like I said. That was a cute moment. That is so cool. That it just like comes on command. Yeah. Oh my god. This is what happens when you dox yourself. Flight power restored. Oh. Whenever somebody has to hold their breath in reviews, do you guys ever like hold your own breath to see if you would be able to survive that? Because I always do. And I never survive, by the way. <laughs> 
We are five miles outside of Rose Hill, Tennessee. <laughs> oh, wow. Why? Jarvis? Not my idea. I prepared a flight plan. This was the location. You did ask Where him to do that. <laughs> I, I think I may be malfunctioning, sir. Open it, Jay. Oh my god. No. So he doesn't even have his suit. He doesn't have Jarvis. Jarvis? <sighs> Don't anybody. Tony Stark. It sounds kind of f***ed up to say, but is he much without his suit? Pepper, it's me. Got a lot of apologies to make and not a lot of time, so first off, I'm so sorry I put you in harm's way. That was selfish and stupid and it won't happen again. It might happen again. I think that it would be good for Tony Stark to prove himself without the, you know, Iron Man suit and without Jarvis. Like, I think that this might be really, really integral for him. I wonder how he's going to do without it. And I think that it'll help a lot with his anxiety, you know, if he starts believing in himself. Like, he believes in his brain, but I don't know if he f believes in just him as himself, you know? Barrel's a little long. Between that and the wide gauge, it's... Uh, diminish your FPS. <laughs> and now you're out of ammo. Technically, you're dead. Valid point. What oh, happened to him? God. Life. I built him. I take care of him. If I was building Iron Man and War Machine. It's Iron Patriot now. That's way cooler. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Tony is funny. He's funny. Dad went to 7-Eleven to get scratchers. I, I guess he won because that was six years ago. Oh, God. Hmm. Which happens, Dad's leave. No need to be a pussy about it. Here's what I... Ah! Oh, Tony! <laughs> oh, my God. He has no filter. <laughs> I mean, he does have his own daddy issues, to be fair, so, yeah. Stark secure server, retinal scan verified. Pepper, it's me. Got a lot of apologies to make and not a lot of time, so. I think that my boss is working for the Mandarin. So if you still want to talk about it, I suggest that we get ourselves someplace safe. Six dead, only five shadows. Mm. Yeah. People said these shadows are like the marks of souls going to heaven. That's why there's only five. Did you buy that? That's what everyone says. You know what this crater reminds me of? No idea. I'm not, I don't care. Tony! A giant wormhole. Be nice. In, um, in New York. Does it remind you? That's manipulative. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> coming back. Do you know That's Maybe. manipulative. Uh, Remember I told you that I have an anxiety issue? Ah, oh, man, you did it, didn't you? You happy now? What did I say? <sighs> hey, wait up! Wait, uh, wait. I think that this is really good for his character development, though. I mean, suffering from anxiety is the f***ing worst, but I think it's good for Tony to get more in touch with the things that he's feeling, so... If it's gonna take a panic attack, it's gonna take a panic attack to get him there. Nice watch. Yeah, limited edition. Oh, I don't doubt it. <laughs> well, have a good evening. Mrs. Davis, your son didn't kill himself. I guarantee you, he didn't kill anyone. Someone used him. What? Oh, oh hey, hey, hey! What's all this about? What the hell's going on here? It's called an arrest. <laughs> I need a little more information than that. Yeah, so do I. Is that the kid? Oh. Oh. That's the thing about smart guys. They always cover our ass.
Dang. What I need is for you to go home, be with your mom, keep your trap shut, guard the suit, and stay connected to the telephone, because if I call, you better pick up. Okay? Can you feel that? We're done here. <sighs> Tony really needs to treat people nicer. I'm sorry, kid. Oh, there we go. You did good. So now you're just gonna leave me here, like my dad? Yeah. Wait, you're guilt tripping me, aren't you? I'm cold. <laughs> I can tell. You know how I can tell? Because we're connected. <laughs> Uh, they're such a fun little pair. I don't know if we're ever going to see this kid again after this movie, but I really am enjoying, enjoying the two of them together. And honestly, I usually do not like kid actors. I don't know if I've ever gotten into this on my channel before, but I'm pretty harsh toward kid actors. So the fact that I like him is uh, a testament to their chemistry together. America. If your president calls me in the next half minute, Tom lives. Go. How did he hack my phone? You can't allow terrorists to dictate. I have to make this call. Yeah. I don't know. I would make the call, even though I feel like it's going to be the wrong choice. I would still make the call. Kind of bad time. Uh, hang on a second. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I've had that. Who is this? It's me, pal. <laughs> now, last time I went missing, if I remember correctly, you came looking for me. What are you doing? A little knock and talk, making friends in Pakistan. What are you doing? Give me your login. <laughs> War Machine rocks with an X, all caps. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That is an adorable password. <laughs> War Machine Rocks. That brings me an unreasonable amount of joy. <laughs> Stanley! Stanley setting! I got it this time! Woo! I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Mom, I need to call you back. Something magical is happening. <laughs> Let me start this in my van. Keep it down. Oh Let me my god. No, it's not. I knew you were still alive. Iron Man, out of all of the um, superhero characters, I feel like Iron Man has the funniest movies. Once misfits, cripples, you are the next iteration of human evolution. I promise you, looking back at your life, there will be nothing as bitter as the memory of that glorious risk you prudently elected to forego. Today is your glory. Let's begin. Jesus Christ. A bomb's not a bomb when it's a misfire. You can't be too hard on yourself, Maya. I mean, you gave your research to a think tank. Yeah, but Killian built that think tank on military contracts. That's exactly what we used to do. I really appreciate that. It's a nice moment between the two of them. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good that lingering. <laughs> If we want to launch product next year, I need Stark. He just lacked a decent incentive now. He has one. <sighs> I really did believe her all up until that moment where we got that long shot of her looking at Pepper going towards the door. That's when I just started to get suspicious. I really believed her. I was like, oh, look at these like women being very supportive of each other. It's so nice. I'm a fool. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's my pleasure. Jarvis, how are we? It's so 
totally fine, sir. I seem to do quite well for a stretch, and then at the end of the sentence, I say the wrong cranberry. <laughs> ah, that's so cute. Ooh. Nice. Well, I fault again. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. I am not your personal. <laughs> Twenty minutes. <laughs> now, which one of you is the Nessa? That's me. Ah, oh, Nessie. Did you know that his he's so different than in, in his propaganda videos? Hey, bloody hell, bloody hell! <laughs> oh, I'm not moving. You want something? Take it. Although the guns are all fake, because those wankers wouldn't trust me with the real ones. What? Hey, do you fancy either of the birds? What? Is he just a mouthpiece? Hey, it's complicated, it right? Is. It's complicated. I'm complicated, <laughs> ladies and Get out of the bed, get in the bed. My name's Trevor, Trevor Slattery. Slattery. What are you? Don't hurt the face, I'm an actor. Okay. Mm you got a minute to live, fill it with words. They gave me things, they gave me this palace. They gave me plastic surgery. That is so nefarious. To be targeting people who are obviously in a bad way. But, like, if you're going to be a villain, I guess go all the way, right? Killian. He created you. He created me. Custom-made terror threat. Yes! I, honestly, I wasn't on location for half of this stuff. When I was, it was movie magic love. I'm sorry. This is such a fascinating development. You're still going down, pal. You <sighs> Okay, so you took Killian's card. I took his money. And here you are, 13 years later. Right. In a dungeon. No. Yeah. Right. No, you're in a dungeon. I didn't even make the connection that she took his card at the beginning. Did I do that? Yes. I remember the night, not the morning. I had a thought that would guide me for years to come. Anonymity, Tony. The second you give evil a face, the Bin Laden, the Gaddafi, the Mandarin, mm. hand the people a target. You're something else. Desperation. Now this is live. I'm not sure if you can tell. <laughs> but at this moment, the body is trying to decide whether to accept extremis or just give up. And if it gives up, I have to say, the, the detonation is, is quite spectacular. But until that point, it's really just a lot of pain. Jesus Christ, this man is sadistic. I haven't even talked salary yet. I said let him go! What are you doing? 1,200 cc's, a dose half of this size, I'm dead. I die, Killian. What happens to your soldiers? What happens to your product? Mm, we're not doing this, okay? What happens to you? What happens if you go too hot? What's the mileage count between Tennessee and Miami? 832 miles. Very nice. I'm good like that. <laughs> what are you gonna do to me? You'll see. You're zip tied to a bed. This. <laughs> is, is his suit gonna come? Ooh. Ooh. What the hell? Fire? <laughs> that is a new development. Would have been nice to know that this man can breathe fire. I'll have the West's most powerful leader in one hand, and the world's most feared terrorist in the other. Jeez. I'll own the war on terror. Here it comes. Three, four. Shut up. Five, four, three, four. Right. Okay. Ah! Nice. That is some crazy technology. Honestly, I hate working here. They are so weird. <laughs> Honestly, me. <laughs> A 
never thought people have been hurt. They lied to me. This is the Mandarin? No, no, it's, it's, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Hi, Trevor. Trevor's not true. I know I'm shorter in person, but smaller. Everyone says that, but... <laughs> Glad to see you can make it, son. Feel safe for already. Why don't you ask him to say something? You should honestly, you should, before he gets on the plane, ID him. Truly anyone could be in that suit. I understand why you would think that it's going to be, um, gosh, what is his name? Colonel James? Maybe? But still, this is really irresponsible to not first check. Everything all right, Colonel? Ooh. How many in the air? Thirteen, sir. How many can I carry? Four, sir. New nightmare unlocked. So he has to pick which four he's saving? Or is he gonna have to do three trips somehow? Remember that game called Barrel of Monkeys? That's what we're gonna do. 18,000 feet. Come on, people, everybody, grab your monkey. Jeez. This is pretty cool. 200 feet, sir. It's a chunky monkey. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, man. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right, Jarvis, but it's only half done. Uh, uh say Jarvis, is it that time? The house party protocol, sir. Correct. House priority protocol. What is that? You see that? Nailed it. Yeah, you really killed that. <laughs> I was aiming for the bulb. You can't hit a bulb this distance. <laughs> Entry. I love that. Oh shit. Christmas, buddy. Oh my god. Well, that was lucky that nothing hit her. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Give me a suit, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, they're, they're only coded to me. What's that mean? <laughs> I got you covered. <laughs> Aw, is he not gonna get his suit back? See what happens when you hang out with my ex-girlfriends. You're such a jerk. Yep, we'll talk about it over dinner. <laughs> Close your eyes, you don't want to see this. Bye bye. What the hell? Oh, thank God. Gotta let go, I'll catch you, I promise. Oh, oh my God. No, I don't believe it. I'm choosing not to believe it. I would have caught her. Oh, I can't. I can't believe it, guys. That can't be how she goes. I don't know if I'm just in denial right now, guys. But I just want to know. favor and blow mark 42. Ooh. Is 
that her? No. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was Pot Miss Potts for a second. I just don't want to believe she's dead. I am the Mandarin. Oh my god. Oh my god. She has the Oh yeah. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing either. But I'm happy you're good. What? Oh, what are you mad at me? Oh my goodness. Is she just gonna have these powers moving forward? Because I am here for it. Man. Oh my god. Not even her hair burnt off. How really incredible. Violent. Am I gonna be okay? No. You're in a relationship with me, everything will never be okay. <laughs> but I think I can figure this out, yeah. I almost had this 20 years ago when I was drunk. I think I can... They do compliment each other very, very well. Oh, they're all gonna self-destruct. Oh my goodness. And now... Wow, he's getting it lie. taken out? Oh my goodness. You, that was the best sleep I'd had in years. You can take away my house, all my tricks and toys. One thing you can't take away, I am Iron Man. Uh, that is a good ending. That mirrors the ending of the first film. I really like that. I really, really, really like that. <sighs> I enjoyed it, guys. I enjoyed this one. I think I enjoyed this one more than Iron Man 2, for sure. For sure. Okay, let's go to after credit scenes. Wow, I had no idea you were such a good listener. To be able to share all my intimate Who's thoughts and experiences to? with someone, it just Is cuts it be the way of it in half. You know, it's like a snake swallowing its own tail. Everything comes full circle. Oh, it's the Hulk. Are you actively napping? I, I was, I, I, I drifted. <laughs> Where did I lose you? elevator in Switzerland. Oh. <laughs> so you heard none of it? I'm sorry. I'm not a therapist. It's not my training. So? I, I don't have the... What, the time? Temperament. You know what, now that I think about it, oh, God. That I makes sense. Alone. 1983, all right? Yes. I'm 14 years old. I still have <laughs> That was weird. Uh, that was a cute little scene. The last two after credit scenes didn't really further the story at all. Although, the last movie did have a mid credit scene that did further the plot a little bit. But it's interesting that this one didn't have, uh, it was just like a fun little cutesy after credit. I don't know if that's more common or having an after credit that actually has bearings on the plot is more common, but um, that was really cute. That was really cute. The lighting has changed dramatically. So get used to this, guys. This is this is uh, what happens when it's spring and the days are longer. We get kind of shitty lighting. It's something I can do about it. All right. So we just finished Iron Man 3. And I've got to say that I actually enjoyed this one quite a bit. I don't want to say that I had low expectations because I didn't have low expectations. I just didn't necessarily have high expectations since... The last Iron Man movie, which was Iron Man 2, was okay. Like, I didn't dislike it, but it wasn't my favorite out of the ones that I've that I've watched so far. These movies, these Iron Man movies in particular, are so freaking funny. I feel like I've said this over and over and over again, and I keep repeating myself, but Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark is just so, like, he's just so good. He's so good, and he's so charismatic, and even though... Tony Stark is a character that is, you know, full of himself, huge ego, thinks he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Even though he is that character, I think that Robert Downey Jr. brings enough, like, humanity to him where um, you still like him. You still really enjoy his character. And I don't think that that's a really easy thing to do. Like, I think that it is really easy to teeter into, oh my god, this person is just unbearable territory but i think that he does a really good job of like towing the line between being super full of himself and personable so yeah 
I don't know how to properly explain this, but I do like that the movie was about Tony Stark rather than Iron Man. Like, I think that we needed this moment to happen. I think that it was good for the character overall, but I also think that it was really interesting for audiences. Obviously, I don't know how audiences reacted to it, but for me, it was nice to sort of see the man behind the shell. Exploring Tony Stark without the suit for me was more interesting even than um, the, the storyline with Killian, I guess. Obviously the two are intertwined and I did think that there were a lot of really fun plot points um, with Killian, especially with um, the Mandarin being an actor, you know, and him being behind the entire operation. I thought that that was a really, really fun twist because I genuinely found a lot of those propaganda videos to be really actually terrifying. Um, so this is so this isn't me saying that that was bad in any way, but I just think that like it was it was just really gratifying to watch Tony Stark's um, development as a character in this one. But yeah, Killian as a villain, I don't know. I didn't, again, I didn't dislike it. I just don't know if he was my favorite villain. I think that he was better than uh, the guy in Iron Man 2, maybe. Do I actually think that? Maybe. I actually don't know. I think that he's on par with the guy in Iron Man 2, honestly. I, I do wish that Killian's motive was a bit deeper than it was. I was joking at the start of the movie that that seemed like a villain origin story, but um, I don't know. I just, I, I wish that there was a little bit more there, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I just felt like there was something lacking there, I guess. Um, yeah. Still, I had a lot of fun with this movie and it gave me a lot of great laughs. And I think that it was just a nice start to phase two and I'm looking forward to just getting into more and more and more and more and more and more and more. But yeah, that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you didn't, I would appreciate a thumbs up. I hope you guys take care and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.